Good morning. So, listen, I have been vacationing and having fun, having a ball, and my garden look a wreck. You hear me? I just came off of a, a weekend trip, and <clears throat> I feel like <laughs> the outside is calling me. Like, I need to go and do something because... I've been neglecting this garden seriously. You're going to see a video I'm going to post on Monday. I try to do um, a little bit of cleanup and stuff. Um, and that was pretty good for that day. And since then, I haven't gone back outside. So I feel like it's calling me. Like there's some things that looks absolutely disastrous. If that's even a word. But <laughs> the outside is calling me. I need to get some stuff done. So it's early again. Um, the sun is now coming up. So I'm gonna go out there and do a little bit of a little bit of cleaning up, especially the um the grapevine. The grapevine is taking over my patio, it's looking awful. So that's one of the things that I really want to cut. And everything else is going to fall in, but I'm going to be doing a lot of maintenance out there. Like, it seems like every time I go out there now, I'm going to be doing a lot of maintenance. Only because um, things have gotten out of control. On top of that, I, I have to do some cleaning up because I have to plant for fall. So, I, might, I, I need to plant some vegetables and stuff for fall. Um... I know Lowe's and Home Depot and all these garden centers have their plant sales and stuff. And because I'm on vacation, I've been missing all those sales. And really and truly, I don't need to buy any plants. I need to use from Peter to pay PayPal because there's some of the plants that gotten so big, I need to transplant a lot of them. Like take some of them out of one area and put them in another. There's a lot going on out there, but one day at a time. I'm getting ready to go on vacation again, like I said. So, um, I'm I'm just gonna one day at a time. Okay, so we're gonna get out there, and um, I'm going to get some coffee right now. I'm gonna get out there and start a little bit of cleaning up before this sun come up really strong. We're gonna beat the heat today. Okay, all right, let's go. So starting up here, the house plants is doing really good. I must say that. Like, look, check out these house plants. Like, everything looks nice and bright and just flourishing. Now, the the direct sunlight on this patio does not really hit these plants directly. So they get sunlight, but it's like the let's say the glare is not like direct it's not in sitting in direct sunlight so these are doing really really good okay i keep up with water with these and more than likely when i water them one day i don't have to water them for like the next five or six days so when i'm on vacation these are the plants that i don't really worry about because it it sits in a pot that you know collects a little bit of the like the extra water and so i don't have to worry about watering them all the time these are the pots that i had gotten from ross and they don't have any drainage so the pots the plants itself is in the nursery pots and then i put them in the pots that i got from ross so it collects that drainage and then the plant absorbs it back when it needs it so these are doing really really good now over in this raised box is a different story because this really it's it's overgrown i can still use the herbs that are in here but i want to clean it up so I can bring some more herbs from in the raised bed um, on the lower end. 
and bring it and put it in here so that you know like during thanksgiving and stuff i don't have to go too far for herbs it's going to be sitting right up here and it's only um during thanksgiving is more than likely it's like two or three herbs that's really going to survive the temperatures and, and i know it's thyme and what's the other one rosemary rosemary i think that's it anyway and those are the two things we use a lot for turkey and stuff like that so i'm gonna bring some up here all this during the um colder months are gonna die back but instead of waiting for them to die back i'm probably gonna take them out and use whatever leaves i can use i do want to make some pesto so i have um uh what's this called again anyway you guys know so um i had dill in here i had um leeks in here there's still some leeks like you can see them right there i've been cutting on that a lot there's strawberries the strawberries are struggling because this pot haven't been you know it it wasn't saturated properly so the strawberries started to struggle of course and then with the heat up here you know it was a challenge you know with the neglect of water so anyway i'm gonna clean it up nicely and bring whatever i need to bring up here so now over here is where I'm going to be working today. As you can see, all this is the grapevine. And it's gone and it's taken over my entire patio all up there. Now, sometimes you do some things and it's, you know, out of stupidity because you're not thinking in the moment. And this is one of those moments for me. Like, I put the vine here and did not expect it to just run and gone all day like really like really samantha yes i'm talking to myself but anyway so the grapevine it run and it it's gone all up on the patio and stuff like that and kind of got the patio looking a little mm, out of order so i need to bring this back down i'm i'm basically gonna clip it because i'm gonna be removing this vine from this area because simply because eh, in the beginning i liked how it looked because it was blocking this little square right here you know and now i don't you know i feel like it looks too out of order so i'm gonna clip it back now one of the reasons why I'm going to clip it back now is because um, the Japanese beetle is decimating this plant from the bottom here. As you can see closely. And some of the grapes have been ripened and started to fall because we wasn't here to pick and do all this stuff. So most of the grape on this side here is gone. Now, when I come over on this side, I still do have a lot of grapes hanging. Like there's still a lot of grapes. Some is still green. Some, a few of them ripen, but in this moment here is like, I kind of regret this happening, but I'm just going to clean it up. And on top of that, y'all, when I tasted a few of the ripe grapes, it was sour. It wasn't sweet. And I'm a not a fan of sour grapes. However, I am a fan of grapes, and you can do so many other things with grapes. So, I am still going to keep my plant. I'm just going to move it. Now, I'm not moving it today, but I am going to clean it up today. When I move it, it's going to be maybe in the next couple of weeks or, mm, I don't know. Because sometimes my hands start to itch and I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to move it. And when I move it from here, it's going to go over there. So there's things that I have to move from this area to get it over there. Again, I'm not moving it today, but my hands are itching. Since since I have to um, 
since I have to clean this all up and make it look nice and clean, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I am going to start cleaning this up. There's a lot of weeds that are in between the bricks. I'm going to clean some of them up. And then what I'm going to do is spray the weed killer. Actually, there's some is weed and some is grass. So I'm going to clean some of this up as far as I can reach before the heat comes in. Because the sun is starting to creep in. I'm going to do as much as I can. And then we're going to call it a day. I'm not going to overdo it because I tend to come out here and overdo it. And then I, I go in the house and I can't do nothing else. So I'm, again, I'm going to do as much as I can out here. All right, let's get started on this. So right now this is looking so much better. I started to cut and the cut started to feel so good and I kept cutting and cutting because now I can actually see my plants and my furniture to the top. Of course the umbrella fall down so I gotta <laughs> raise that back up and stabilize it so you know and that, that kind of fall with the wind you know. Um, but look how better that look and it's gonna look even more better when I really like really clean it up clean between the bricks and stuff with the um, the weeds and stuff I am cutting and I keep feeling like I need to continue to cut because there's a few grapes hanging on there you can see that and really and truly I'm like okay why am I trying to hold on to this because we may not even get those grapes you know, there's a lot of bunches in between there. And that's all the bunches. Imagine all this that I just cut. I literally maybe cut about um, two bunches of grapes in between all that. So all that was just excess branches and leaves just climbing and going nowhere. You know, because there was no fruit on that. So this is where all the fruits are. So I'm thinking maybe I'm going to leave this a little bit right here. 
um, and see what becomes of the grapes. If we get some, we don't get some, whatever the deal is. I'm going to leave this little patch right here because I do have very strong vines. And it's between the checkered, see? It's between the checkered, so I don't know how I'm going to get it out to remove this. Because I need the strong vine for next season, you know, to climb nicely and do its thing. Although the grapes are sour, you know, so yeah I guy did get to clean up a lot though and it felt good cleaning this up and that's the reason why I kept cutting but there's still so much to be done in between here I'm thinking to remove this lavender only because this lavender is gonna get like really shrubby it's gonna get like it, when you look between there and you see all the dead in between there that's because last year I didn't cut it back when it went out of bloom. And because I didn't cut it back, it got really, like, the hard stock. And I don't like to see that at all. Because although during the spring the purple is on it, the blooms and stuff, and they look pretty. And that covers up. During the fall, or the, um, like in this case, in the summer, it looks awful, you know. I can probably trim it back and get another season out of it. <sighs> I don't know. Or I could put something else in between here. Because I do have a lot of plants that I need to transplant. And not to say because I have a lot of plants to transplant, I want to just get rid of this. It just looks, it looks bad. But it loves this corner. Anyway. I do have another lavender here and this one this one is doing good it's out of bloom right now some of the blooms I can cut back and see if I get another flush of the blooms uh, there's some of these like the boxwood in between there I'm gonna have to shift it out some not today but I'm gonna have to shift that boxwood I'm probably gonna have to shift that one as well because the hydrangea is taking this corner. The buddleia, which is the butterfly bush back there, is doing its thing. It's now getting some blooms back there. So all these plants, like some of them have gotten really big. And it needs a little bit more space. And when you're planting, when you're doing your garden, sometimes you got to really cater for space. When you're planting stuff i don't usually do that too often because i like um when i'm planting i want to see like that sudden impact <laughs> and that's about a gardener i think when you want to see that sudden impact you plan to see that impact and then times like this is when you could shift and pull and turn and do all the necessary to keep getting it the way you want it because during this season, I really enjoyed this space. I felt like it looked really beautiful, very lush and compact just the way I wanted it. So does my front yard. It's like each area have its own little thing about it that looks absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I'm going to continue to clean up because, again, I want to clean this up before the sun hits. And this is the corner I'm going to focus on and probably my porch because... Um, my patio sorry uh i want to clean up the patio just a little bit you know so before the sun comes in so let me do this because i gotta clean all over there it, there's a lot of weeds y'all and this is the one area i'm gonna focus on today so i'm gonna continue
all done in this corner so okay starting from this corner I did pull the weeds out here let me come out the Sun okay so I pulled the weeds out here and really clean up this order this area because this area is like it's prone to weed so bad so I kind of really dig down and get to the root balls of, of some of the weeds that that comes in this bed I don't know, I think the soil is rich because as I was digging, I saw a lot of earthworms. So I think this corner here is very rich in soil. So, and maybe that's why this plant is surviving so well because this area does not get a whole lot of water. This little patch here, but the plants, anything that I put here, uh, it looks like it's surviving well. Anyway. I could be wrong about that statement, but I did see a lot of earthworms. And when you see a lot of earthworms, it signifies that the, the soil is really good because that's where earthworms go, you know. So, um, and as I dig, it was very dry. So I do have to put water in this area. I don't want to turn on my irrigation because um, some areas that the irrigation is don't have anything and I don't want to waste my water so I'm going to use a hose and water them next year I think I'm going to do um I'm going to rerun my irrigation so I can put knobs so in places that um in places that I don't have anything I can just simply turn that area off you know what I mean so yeah anyway I could run it yeah I mean it will probably ease some of the stress of me going back and forth to water anyway anyway we'll do something about that we we just have to make sure the plants get water and again I'm in the Sun because the Sun is up it's coming up slowly in this area but it's kind of blasting and in some areas you can see it's cut off right there eventually you can get all the way in so look at how the annuals are doing so good I got to clean out all here if you look really good you can see it's nicely cleaned out like I really trenched it out like really dig and trench it out and I clean up all this area all in between I do have to move this during the fall and put it somewhere else because two of these two trees can't be in the same area it's gonna get too big and you know hopefully when I move it it don't die though. <sighs> And I'm prone to, you know, things happening to me because I'm in a rush to do stuff. Like, I'm always, my my fingers are always agitated to move something. And sometimes I move it at the wrong time of the year and I lose it. Let's hope I, I don't do that this year. Because I do have a lot of plants that I have to transplant. And I'm already itching to move them. Anyway... The lavender, I kind of clean it up a little bit, but wait, if you look closely to the bottom, you can see like the dead is at the bottom. So it's out of bloom and I, I kind of clipped off some of the bloom so that it could, you know, give me another flush. But during the fall, I know during the fall, this, this guy is still standing, but what I'm going to do, 
is cut it back a little bit more uh, during the fall so hopefully um, for spring the stems are stronger uh, the bees are coming in now because the Sun is coming up so everybody's starting to you know come into this area this one here I think I'm gonna move it I'm not a hundred percent sure yet what I want to do maybe as I cut it back I'm gonna see what it looks like and then know whether I want to move it or not but this is another lavender and uh, I don't want to remove it right now because that spot is gonna look empty and if you look closely once again there's a lot of bees on it already a lot of pollinators um, so yeah that's the idea in this corner but it does look clean it looks so much better especially up here I I wanted to cut this back so bad <laughs> I wanted to remove the whole thing and I'm like okay you can wait you can wait a little longer Samantha it looks clean already it looks pretty good everything that got clean up looks really good any annual that kind of like die back and look way too bad I kind of pulled that out what did I pull out I pull out something I don't even see the tag of what I pull out in this area but I know I pull out some annual like from right here and one from back there I just pulled it out but doesn't this look so much better y'all so much better so much cleaner it's like now when I go and take my vacation I'm gonna be like at ease because I'm like okay it's clean and nice the only thing it's missing is a little bit of water but it is doing good and I don't know how come over in that corner is so dry because it rained and all over here is moist but that one corner is a little dry but maybe it's the top that is dry and not the bottom but all over here is wet the grass is wet because my husband is trying to come out and cut the grass but it's too wet for him to cut so I know when the grass cut and then he trims around all here it's gonna look so much better so much better it already looks nice but it's gonna look even better when he cleans it up in this corner I can't do much because really and truly this corner don't get a lot of weed but the hydrangeas are right there and it flopped over y'all so I can't get under there to like clean out by the bricks but again this area though here don't get too much of weeds this tree this is the pear tree I do have to clean this up a little bit and clean some of the stuff some of the branches that come out at the bottom there um, the ajuga as you can see it's kind of flopping over the bricks it's gone through the bricks now so what I'm gonna do in places that I need ajuga to the front of the yard I'm gonna use from here I'm gonna really pull out quite a few because ajuga spread fast so I'm gonna pull pieces from here and plant it in areas at the front that I want it to be so that next year spring it gets that nice purple flower and look beautiful and by next year it's gonna spread out even more if I don't buy any plant this year the one thing I want to buy is possibly a few more ajuga if I don't have enough because I have it here and I have it under um, I have one of the knockout rows in the front of the yard and so I'm gonna use pieces from both areas to you know put in wherever else that I want to put it and if I don't have enough then I'm gonna buy some for next year's spring but if I do feel like I can just put pieces and it's gonna spread I'm not gonna buy anything all the sales that are happening for plants this year I haven't bought anything y'all nothing nothing I haven't bought nothing because I have to pull from Peter to pay Paul because I do have a lot of plants now and what I do have to do is spread them out a little bit more so they have room to grow and that's why we continue to create garden beds because we want to buy more plants <laughs> But right now I'm not gonna buy anything I, I'm probably gonna wait until next spring unless I see something that I really want and it's a really good deal I'm gonna buy it but apart from that I'm gonna hold on to my little coins cuz I gotta buy bulbs my spring bulbs I gotta order that early 
and yeah anyway now that this area is done I think I'm gonna go up on top of the patio and clean that a little bit because um, it needs a little bit of a little bit of sprucing kind of lift up the umbrella and clean the box and you know stuff like that anyway but this looks really nice really really nice right here right here not over there but over here this area that is clean up look really nice well I forgot to mention I did remove the little bird bath that was there and it's right over here I'm gonna probably just put it in the in under my stairs or something for right now something about this bird bath because it's so flimsy I never know it's like a rubber kind of material I never really know where to put it because it seems like whatever area I put it in it it, it I, I'm for the beginning I like it and then after that I'm like mm, I don't think it looks nice in that area so I tend to keep moving it anyway uh, for right now I think I'm gonna put it under my stairs or just donate it I'll probably donate it I can't wait to move this oh my AC unit just came on but I can't wait to move this and back there is gonna look nice and clean because these blue muffin viburnums you see these guys are growing so fast they're getting big and bigger and eventually that closure that I needed back there is gonna be really observed by these three viburnums and look really nice yay <laughs> So I got this area refreshed and I did raise up the umbrella but I gotta fix the bottom of it because the bottom of it is kind of crooked so I gotta get my husband to help me fit that in properly but I did kind of dust the chair out and stuff like that and then over in this area here what I did was I kind of clean it out I leave some of the purple um, basil I took some inside um, I am gonna use the the green one to make some pesto but i kind of clean it up you're gonna notice right right in here notice that i put a few seeds what i did was put some kale seeds and some spinach seeds now it's what the beginning of august yeah so it's still a little hot or too warm to put um uh, kale and spinach seeds just in my opinions but I did it because I know that it's gonna come up and it's gonna struggle is the seeds are gonna um, come up and um, what's gonna happen is as the place start to cool down it's gonna really take off so I am good with that and if it doesn't come up then I'll just um, put some more seeds in there because it is a little bit too hot for uh, the seeds that I put in here. Anyway, I figure it's going to get some of the warm temperature. And then when the cool hit, it's going to help it to take off. So the plan was to put some um, rosemary and thyme in here. But then I remember thyme, the root of the thyme takes a lot of space. And also the root of rosemary is going to take a lot of space so i don't want to you know fluster this little box with all that stuff it's i figured that it's down there and i'm gonna have to go down and get it down there since this is right close to the door that was something that i wanted to do but hey you know we're entitled to change our mind so i did I only kept one of the strawberry plant because this one is producing and I do use these for smoothies um, and this one has been producing a whole lot the other three 
dye back i put all of the dill not dill um with this green onion uh oh, what is this again let's see this is leeks <laughs> so i put the leeks all the leeks over here it got a little bit of green onion in here because this one is a green onion that i plugged in here so and then i dropped a little bit of green onion seeds as well like right around here so hopefully this box take off and look really good i'm not expecting it to do so like right away but hopefully it does anyway i have done a lot today i cleaned up i water all these plants up here like i said the house plant is looking really good in this area so yeah this is cleaned up pretty well loving it so now i don't have to feel so bad <laughs> I don't have to feel so bad so anyway I was kind of pushing it a little bit because I wanted to do a little bit more but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna come out here tomorrow again and try to do a little bit more maybe tomorrow afternoon and try to see if I could do a little bit more um, maintenance because there's a few more things that needs to be cut back and stuff like that but I need to focus I need to do some cleanup on that bed there's another bed that had a whole lot of weed that I needed to shift out the blocks I mentioned that this to you guys a few weeks ago so I'm gonna shift out the blocks and try to clean that bed up I need to focus a little bit on that bed because the weeds are getting pretty bad pretty pretty bad so I think tomorrow I'm gonna do that and maybe I'll do a little bit more cutback and stuff like that or a little bit more cleanup a little bit more maintenance we'll say that so anyway i am gonna go inside and get me a shower i look a mess right now i feel a mess i feel sticky and there's a lot i know you can't see it but the the dirt is on me like it's on my hand it's on my face it's in my hair so i gotta wash my hair like okay i'm done i am done for the day <laughs> you guys have an amazing day Hope you get a chance to do something amazing, something beautiful. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye for now.